Welcome everyone, Cliff from Advanced Diagnostics. We're gonna speak about a vehicle that I haven't seen in many years, and I'm referring to the USA listing for the Toyota Crown. It's now available on your Smart Pro. So take a look at this, because we're gonna to discuss today what's needed to program this vehicle. And I haven't seen one in so long that I did a search on it, and it came up as the first Japanese car sold in America. And the Crown is actually widely regarded among Toyota drivers. It's the longest running model in passenger car history, and it is still in production today, obviously, since 1955. All right, so let's get into the meat and bones of what's needed to program a key to this Prox system. If you look at the top, you'll see that in parentheses, it's 1224. Well, what does that mean? That's the protocol. It's a TIS subscription-based model. And it tells you right here, this is second generation. So you will need a Toyota subscription. Now, if you're not familiar, you can go to our YouTube channel, Advanced Diagnostics USA, and there's a dedicated playlist that has a video made by one of our beta testers it's an excellent video. It will instruct you on everything you need to get the subscription, to process the codes, etc. Bear in mind, it's not our website to support. So we don't do that at Tech Support. However, we have put that up as a courtesy to help you. So just go to the, once again, to the YouTube channel and you'll find that video. Now, this is fairly easy to program. You will need their subscription. It is a rolling code. So you're gonna get three codes out of your Smart Pro. And by the way, all this information is in tips and hints. It's also available as additional information on the My Keys Pro app. Lastly, you will notice, and this is what I really wanna discuss, there is no option for bypass. You would normally see 1226 here if there was. There isn't an option for that at present time. And also you won't be able to use the ADC 2015 emulator. These are the two questions we were asked most often in regards to this system protocol. And there are other vehicles in the Toyota family that use this same system. They're all late model proc systems. So if you look at your 2324 Corolla, for example, you'll notice right here in the upper right hand corner, this is 1224. There's no bypass, there's no emulator capability at present. So please make note of this. I hope you found it helpful. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye for now.